Then there's Google today announcing it's rolling out an in-house AI chip that it says is the most powerful and energy efficient yet as the tech giant takes aim at NVIDIA. Our Mackenzie Sagalos is digging into that for today's Tech Check. Morning, Mac. Hey, good morning, Carl. So Google, it is opening access to its most powerful AI chip yet. It's called Ironwood. And as it leans harder into custom silicone, it is very much becoming a core part of its cloud strategy. Now, the chip was introduced in April for internal testing, but is now moving into broad availability. And this is key because cloud wars, they have officially become chip wars. And if you don't have your own silicon, you are already playing from behind. Now, Amazon has Tranium. Microsoft has Maya, but analysts say Google's in-house chips have an edge on the competition, part of why they've been winning business from rivals. Just in the last few months, Google has landed cloud contracts with OpenAI, Meta, and Anthropic. Now, Mizuho points to the distinct cost and performance advantage of TPUs. And Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai said as much on last week's earnings call, bragging that TPUs have been one of the biggest drivers of cloud growth over the past year and that demand is only accelerating, which is why Google's investing heavily to scale. The optics help, too. TPUs are the hardware behind Gemini, Google's in-house AI model, which has gained major traction this year. It now powers everything from Android to search and reportedly just landed the prized Apple deal to run Siri's upcoming AI upgrade. Now, for months, the big question was whether OpenAI or Anthropic would win that business, and now it looks like Google did. And with Google Cloud revenue up 34% in Q3 and $93 billion in CapEx planned for the year, the company's betting big that in order to win in AI, you have to control the full stack, and that starts with your own chips. Guys? Mac, any ideas on what kinds of features we might get out of Siri uh, as a result of this Google partnership? I think that people are looking for any sort of upside in Apple's AI strategy because to this point, I mean, 10 years ago, they had the advantage in the voice assistant market. Uh, Amazon and Apple were leading there, but it's been a real disappointment since then. So you've seen this, uh, you know, imminent upgrade teased and year after year, they keep pushing it back. And I think that, uh, you know, to your point, Carl, we haven't been able to confirm that Google is their partner, but people just want to see something more uh, because at this point, the tech is so nascent compared to the likes of what we're getting from, you know, live conversations from uh, ChatGPT or from uh, a lot of the deployments we've seen with Gemini. But I think that looking at some of the capabilities that Gemini has rolled up, uh, rolled out in the last few months, including their video generation capabilities, there are high expectations if Gemini is indeed the partner uh, for this Siri upgrade. Right. I mean, it is interesting, too, to watch Google in this case, but also Broadcom, clearly AMD, at least do their best to nip at NVIDIA's heels. Yeah, they're certainly trying. And you've got Lisa Su, the AMD CEO, uh, saying during their earnings call this week that they're finally expecting to see some revenue from the China pipeline reopening. They've been able to land their export licenses. And then you've got this, uh, you know, back and forth from NVIDIA just today. Jensen Wong reportedly telling the FT that China's now ahead in the AI race. And then you've got uh, NVIDIA putting out a message on social media contradicting that, saying that, you know, the U.S. is still uh, a few nanoseconds ahead of China. But it does beg this larger question. They need to get uh, this competitive silicon into other global markets, specifically China. And while there's been this blockade, you know what the uh, Chinese government has been doing? They have been really pushing domestic homegrown AI chips from the likes of Huawei. Yeah, they're, they're marching ahead, too. Thank you, Mackenzie. Mackenzie Sagalas.